This video is going to be about the whole calories in, calories out, calorie restriction, um, whatever you want to call it really. I'm going to talk about my experience with it for doing it over, I guess, a year, a little over a year, and how I feel about it, what happened to me, and so on and so forth. I'm going to start off talking about my whole experience with calorie restricting. I started doing it around 2010. That was my first time experimenting with it. And the reason I did it, well, it was more like 2009. The reason I did it is because throughout my years of high school, each year I gained 10 pounds. I started out being 160 pounds coming out of um, middle school. Oh, actually more like 150 pounds coming out of high school. And with each year that I went on, I realized I was starting to gain weight. By the time I got to my sophomore year of high school, I was 170 pounds. And I wasn't happy with it. But I tried to keep myself from gaining any more weight. One of the ways I tried to do this, especially over Thanksgiving break. In 2011, I started calorie restricting. I went to, I did 1,700 calories a day. And this was more to maintain my weight and to keep from gaining excess weight because I knew I was very prone to gaining a lot of weight. So I was eating 1,700 calories a day. This actually worked. I stayed in my weight range, maybe lost a couple pounds. I can't remember. It was a while ago. Uh, and um, I remembered this later on by the time I got to, once I graduated high school, which is 2012, I took a semester off of school. And before I went to college, I remember being 204 pounds at my max weight. I got that way because I was eating a lot because I was doing the insanity program and during this time I was a calorie restrictor and I had a calorie restrict since that Thanksgiving break. Um, I was eating a lot doing um, insanity, eating a lot of crap, anything really. I didn't follow the diet plan because my parent, I was living with my parents and I was depending on them buying food so I was just eating whatever I could, McDonald's, uh, Subway, Probably not too much Subway, more McDonald's than anything. So I was eating out in a lot of places, not very healthy food. And I was probably eating well over 250, maybe even 3,000 calories, most of the calories from fat. I was eating this much and I gained four pounds instead of losing any weight. And about the time I was devastated, I felt like there's no way I could lose weight. It was like almost impossible. Then I remember back in 2009 when I had did the calorie restriction and how it worked. So I thought, okay, maybe I could calorie restrict again. So I started calorie restricting again. I did the amount that I had. I looked up something, and I think the amount that it told me was around 1,700 calories. So I, it might have been more or less. I can't remember. I know it was less than 2,000 calories. So I started eating lower calories, and I was losing weight. I was losing 2 pounds. I had lost only really around 2. I think it was about 4 or 5 pounds. But to me, that was fantastic because I hadn't lost that much weight. Well, I haven't lost any weight in forever, honestly. If anything, I was gaining weight. So I was like, okay, this is actually really working. So I look, I further look um, into it. I went to YouTube and I saw some videos on YouTube about calorie restricting. And I found out through this one girl who did a YouTube video about it, about My Fitness Pile, which is a website you can go to where they set you up with whole... A uh, daily plan, your goals of calories, your goals of carbohydrates, fat, protein, and whatever other macro and micronutrients you want to focus on. It sets you up for doing that. So I went on there and I did my little account and they first recommended me eat uh, 1,350 calories a day. This was when I was around, by this time I was 198 pounds. I was eating this and the lower way I got, then they said, okay, now you're doing 1,250 pounds. So I was eating that. I lost more weight. And the next thing I know, I am at 1,200 pounds. Over the course of those calorie restrictions, um, I had lost in total around 35 pounds. Yes, 35 pounds. That's what it was. This was by the time it was around April or something. Or now nah, it was before April, a little bit before April. I started in December 1st. I remember I started exactly on December 1st. And by the time it hit around March, April, I was had lost 35 pounds. And it was drastic. However, it wasn't very easy. And it wasn't easy because some nights I would go to sleep very hungry. 
because I would max out my calories really quickly. I wasn't used to eating that little amount of calories. I was used to eating 2,000, even sometimes 3,000 calories of fat, uh, just bad things. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. Some nights I'll just go to bed, just so, so hungry. But I would ignore it because I really wanted to lose weight. Um, and I, you know, I probably, I don't remember much of what happened during these times about how I felt. I just know I felt hungry. And I think the reason was because I was kind of ignoring it. And I was ignoring it because I was just noticing I was losing weight. But by the time I got to 166 pounds, that's when the weight, the weight just plateaued. I started to plateau. I wasn't losing weight. And I looked up ways to break the plateau. They said to eat more one day, eat less another day, do this, do that, and the other. None of it was working. I was still staying a steady 166 pounds. It was like the scale did not want to go down anymore. I didn't know why at first. I know now later, but I'll explain that later. By the time I got to this weight, I just I just kind of quit on my fitness pile. I was starting to slow down. Also because I was um I started to have more of a social life in school because I was just starting college. And I was starting to talk to more people after I had come from a New York trip, a tr or a trip to New York that the art department had. I'm part. Of, I'm an art student, and um, I was. I met some new people, and I started talking to them every day, long hours, stuff like that. And once I was doing that, I wasn't really paying much attention to food as much because once I realized, once I started making other friends, I didn't care that much. And um, my weight was really, my weight showed. I didn't lose much weight. Okay, so over the summer, I was just chilling. I didn't care about calories that much. Because I wasn't used to eating a lot of food, and I wasn't really paying attention to how many calories I was taking in every day. Some days I probably only ate 1,100 to 1,000 calories, sometimes 900, 800. And I, I know this was probably what I was doing because I could feel... I knew I wasn't eat much. I would eat like one meal a day, maybe two. Or if I did eat three meals a day, it would be very small meals, not much. Because I was just so used to not eating a lot. And I thought that if I ate a lot, I was just going to gain weight again. So I didn't want to do that. <sighs> Come back to school, I was really stressed. Um, stress really started to kick my butt. Then, this is when I started to eat more. I got to a point where I just I just wanted to eat more. I was like, you know what? I don't really care about the calories that much. If I feel like eating, I'm going to eat. In the back of my head, I still have the idea of oh, calories, so much calories. But my mind was telling me calories, but my stomach was telling me calories. Oh, excuse me. My stomach was telling me forget about calories. Just eat until your heart is content. So that's exactly what I did. I kept eating. But I still tried to hold back. But by the time it was winter break, um, you know, Christmas and all that other good stuff. Well, actually, no, it was before that. It was Thanksgiving break. Man, I went in. I just ate everything. I didn't care about calories. I didn't pay attention. I just ate everything. Not only did I eat everything, I ate a lot of it. I would eat until I was full, and I was still eating, like, uncomfortably full. Come second winter break, Christmas and all that stuff, you know, more food, more eating, more binging, going crazy. And I, I went... I went even crazier than I did on Thanksgiving because I had lost the six pounds that I had gained uh, during Thanksgiving. But when I came back to Christmas, I had gained 10 pounds. And after gaining these 10 pounds, these 10 pounds did not go. And I was like, I was going crazy. So the next semester, I would exercise every day. I was only eating a small amount. I was, I was eating one time a day. I used to go to sleep with hunger pains, just really hungry, extremely hungry, no joke. I was probably eating maybe... Honestly, 12,000 if I was lucky, but 1,200, sorry, 1,200 if I was lucky, but it probably wasn't even that. Most of the times it was probably around 700, 800, 900 calories a day. Really bad. Not healthy at all. And I was exercising to top those things off, and it was not working. I was always tired, and this is when my stress really exemplified. I was losing hair, literally, I was losing hair. I was always tired. I was filled with stress. I couldn't manage stress at all. Um, everything was bad. Menstrual cramps still worse than they used to be. Fatigue was very exemplified. Always tired. Never felt the energy to do anything. Depressed. Sad. I did not feel good. I was mad about myself because I couldn't lose weight. I had gained 10 pounds. I was upset about it. Come to the end of the spring semester, I was still 170 pounds. I hadn't lose, lost any of the, that weight. I was like, okay, this summer I'm really going to go in. I'm really going to go in. So I started insanity again, and I was, starting to eat four, I was eating 1,400 calories. And I was thinking, okay, 
1,200 is too little because insanity is a high intensity workout. So I was eating 1,400 because I was hoping to lose weight. So I was doing this for a while, constantly, and I was uh, for about two or three weeks. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm not losing any weight. I was like, this is ridiculous. So I was like, okay, maybe I'm eating too little. So I went up 1,500, 1,600. I just kept going up. Nothing changed. 1,500, 1,600, 1,700, 1,800, 1,800. And I was like, I was too scared to go past 1,900. I was like, yo, if I eat more than 1,900, I'm definitely going to get fat. Like, it doesn't even matter if I'm doing insanity. 